everyone, it's Hannah, your Usborne Consultant. In this video, I'm going to um, highlight some of my favorite books for babies and toddlers. As I mentioned in my welcome video, there are almost 2,000 books in our catalog, so there's just no way that I could show you everything, so I've picked some of my favorites. And I'm gonna start with our most popular series for babies, um, and if you're familiar with Usborne at all, this is probably one of those books you are familiar with, That's Not My. Um, That's Not My Owl, is the latest in this series. There are over 30 titles from That's Not My Lion, That's Not My Puppy, That's Not My Fairy, That's Not My Tractor. So there's lots of ones for your little ones. Um, as you know, babies learn with all of their senses, including chewing, biting, touching, feeling. And um, these are such a great book for that because they're really kind of indestructible. They've got thick cards, you know, cardboard pages. Um, my baby smeared banana all over it and I got a baby wipe and wiped it all off. So it was really fun. So you can let them drool all over these and, and go to town with them. Um, what is wonderful about these books is it has this bold black outline picture. So it's really great for even young little babies who are having learning how to focus. They can focus on these. Um, it has great tactile elements on each page and they're nice and large and easy to find. And then it's got this predictable text. So that's not my owl, it's tail, it's too rough. So they're learning some new vocabulary and they're learning to pair this word with this feeling. And as it goes along, that's not my owl, it's wings are too fuzzy. Until the end where that's my owl, it's babies are so fluffy. So it's a really great one too for when you have a preschooler who's learning how to read. They can um, go back to these books and you know they have the predictable text so they can read along with it and then learn those new vocabulary words with those context clues in the picture. There's also a find the mouse on every page which is a great um, for character um, recognition which is a pre-reading skill. So there's a lot to do in those wonderful books. Another one of my favorite series for babies are these playbooks. This is Baby's First Touchy Feely Colors Playbook. There's a few in the series and I love them. I think they make awesome baby shower gifts. Um, they have, I, I think that they, the colors in these are just really bold and vibrant. There's a touchy feely element. There are flaps. There's the little um, poke throughs. And then there's also this um, finger trail, which is a great pre-writing skill. So these are great, great ones too for babies. And then we have our noisy books. I never thought I would be a parent who would enjoy having noisy books in the home. Kind of a less noise is more kind of mom. But um, I really do love our noisy books. This one is baby's very first noisy nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes are so wonderful to do with your babies because of course you're singing and it's um, they're, they're learning so much from the interactions and, and the rhyming. And sometimes it's nice to have the words and the song melody to go with you because you might forget them. So this is a nice one to have in your library. Um, it has nice thick, again, board book pages, and it has these great tabs at the top, so it makes it for easy turning for babies. Babies learn a lot of cause and effect with these kind of books too, because of course you push the button, it makes a noise, you push the button, it makes a noise. And they also can learn to match this picture with the button. So as you can see, the music's really nice and the buttons are really easy to push down. The next step up with our noisy books is um, these, which are noisy. This one's noisy orchestra, but we have noisy, no, noisy Noah's Ark and noisy jungle. Um, these have a little bit, usually have a little bit more text, smaller text. There's more, there's more of a story with this one. Um, again, it still has the nice tabs at the top for toddlers for turning and the thick cardboard pages. This one for Noisy Orchestra goes through each of the sections of the orchestra percussion until the end where the whole, whole orchestra plays together. So like I said, the music's really pretty and I actually enjoy listening to it. 
This is one of my favorites in the catalog. This is our Animal Hide and Seek. It's kind of a deluxe touchy-feely book. Um, it has a number of different touchy-feely elements on every page, so different textures as well. Um, and it's actually kind of, it's a um, counting book. So there's only one cow in the barn. Where's Daisy? So you have one cow, and now you have two behind the flap. So it has a nice lift the flap, big lift the flap, and then multiple textures on every page. So in this one, you're looking for Curly, the other pig, and there he is. So now you have three pigs. Another really popular group of books that we have are Metal and Match. And these are really fun. This one's Imagine. We also have Adventure, which has a little knight to cowboy. And then we have um, Animals, too, which is a new title. But these are great because it has so much fun vocabulary and alliteration, so parents really enjoy reading them. Um, Petula, the pretty and pink princess, pops into the palace gardens to pick poppies with her pet puppy pickles. So you can make your kids love making their own people or you can match them up but it's a lot of fun and it's got the nice card stock so it holds up one of our nonfiction series for babies and toddlers are these peek insides this one's peek inside animal homes there's peek inside nighttime peek inside garden um one of my favorites is peek inside the zoo it has this mama gorilla with her arms and you pull the arms back and you have a little baby in there it's very very cute but peek inside animal homes talks about all the different animal homes there's lots of flaps what i love about this series is the illustrations they're so beautiful if you can see with this flap they're just really detailed um and i have the rabbit warren it's got these little cutaways so you can look through but they're just really beautiful and then it's got great information about different animals this is another favorite in our house my son's favorite book a thousand things that go there's also a thousand animals which is really great and a few other titles in this series but it literally is a thousand things that go the dragon boat let's see if i can show you the dragon boat is our favorite right now but he reads it like a book, <laughs> so we sit and we name everything. So, of course, it's great for vocabulary. But then there's also some great discussion that you can have with these because there is different types of tanks. You can talk about the different tanks that we use. We talk about Little Willie a lot. Um, <laughs> there is also old-fashioned um, things that go. So you can talk about the history of the automobile, as well as the history of trains with all the steam engines all through to, you know, the more modern day trains. So it's a really kind of fun one that you can get some sneaky learning in as well. We have, of course, I mean, what are toddler baby books without picture books? And we have so many fun picture books. One of my favorites too is Flippy Flappy. Um, the Flippy Flappy books, we have farm animals, uh, jungle animals and sea creatures but with these you're finding the hidden animals so can you find me I'm hiding somewhere and they've got these little cutaways so you can see through is this him no it's me rabbit is this him no nope. it's me turkey it's me donkey you found me so as you can see when you pull all the flaps back you see the hidden animal so that's a lot of fun they really get a kick out of that one another one of our favorites to read out loud is the gobble gobble moo tractor book if you have a um, animal fan farm fan this is a fun one because you get to do all the animal sounds so all the animals on the farm are playing on the tractor and they realize that they can make the sounds that the tractor makes so the sheep makes the sound the tractor makes when you turn the engine on and he says bah and then the cat makes the end it makes the sound the engine makes when it starts to wiggle and jiggle and goes brrrr, until they all kind of get together and at the end they do it all together and there's this great pull out flat page where they're all making the tractor sounds and the farmer thinks that his someone is stealing his tractor and he wakes up and all of the animals run. So it's just really fun. And then he goes back to sleep and they do it again. 
Another great read aloud, especially at bedtime, is The Big Book of Little Stories. I love this for two and up um, because it's a great little collection of stories. It's one of our combined volumes. It has a lot of um, classic stories like The Three Little Pigs and Red Riding Hood, but the illustrations are really great and each story has a different illustrator. So they're really fun and they're short. So they're about five minute stories. So you can read them really quickly. Um, but the kids, so the kids will, um, you know, stay focused and enjoy them. But um, there are beautiful retellings and, and there's a few um, new stories in there as well, which are really fun. So that's Big Book of Little Stories. It's got a nice um, cloth cover and a, and a bookmark. So these are great ones too. We, um, we take these on our trips whenever we're going out of town because we read three books a night. So it's nice to have them all in one collection and you're not carrying your library with you. So those are my picks for um, babies and toddlers. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that you saw, just comment or message me and I'll be happy to answer. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you at the party.